Hey Han Yang, hello, I am the Dark Fay and welcome back to Dungan Rope Trigger Happy Havoc. I we're just gonna see what's going on in the headmaster's room. Hmm. It's locked, as expected. So what are you gonna do? Maybe we're not gonna see. Isn't it obvious? We're going to tear this door off its hinges. Huh? Wait, but the rules say <laughs> We've seen that the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But... Yeah, but how, how could the game just suddenly start falling apart like this? But like Makoto said, if the mastermind did show up while we were in there, so in other words, then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey. I mean, I feel like six, five of us against one person, probably taken down. Okay, sure, but... What? You've come this far, we can't back down now. We agreed this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. <laughs> So beautiful. Shut up, Dogo. I mean, for serious? What the heck? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Okay. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. Actually. Okay, but how are we gonna do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? That thing in the tool shed. Oh, so then. Oh yeah, the pickaxe. Sure, that would have been my first thought, but all right. I see. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Hm. Now then, Togo, what time is it? Mm -hmm. Well, when we left the gym, it was just before nine o'clock, so it's probably nine on the dot now. It's all clear. Now. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back here by nine o one. What? That's straight up unreasonable. I, I, my, myself. Naturally. Sure thing. You have to. Have your me time once in a while, right? <laughs> well, if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long, and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. <laughs> Unacceptable! When that toko ran off, loud as a herd of rabbit elephants. Hey. Are you serious, though? Are we just gonna knock this door down? <laughs> no problem is solved by running away. Find your stones. <laughs> <laughs> and be a man. He's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. Kyoko said you that. Spend all a your woman. Time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that, if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey, am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um, maybe, but I'm still super stressed, and no one cares. I'm so tense, I can hardly talk, so stop talking. I'm all flippers. No, I'm totally flap bag, flap stuff. Flap songs? <laughs> hey, Genocide Joe. Gross, where'd that come from? Wait, Genocide Joe, where'd you come from? You called for me, and so I appear. Hello, hello. It's a wondrous. Wondiferous murder. Murderous fiend. Here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. <laughs> I don't want to go full out with her voice. Come on. What about the big axe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe. <sighs> no, you seeping imbecile. The pickaxe. Uh -huh. uh, seeping imbecile. Oh, master, you wowed me with your ex executive level barbs. <laughs> but sure, here comes the bloody nose. Seriously, though, did you total? Did you really forget the big axe? Give it a rest. Omega-3 fatty acids, that's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. Not possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Mm, yes, yes. Ah, the light bulb just went on. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> Alright, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. As in, like, where did the pickaxe go? One more mystery? Mm -hmm. Have you reached that certain age? What? What? <laughs> yup, now we just need to figure out the identity of Object X. So, um... Now what are you talking about? <sighs> Do you want to forget what we were talking about? You're like, missing out on life. You've gotta be kidding! I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? <laughs> K or... Puss. A corpse?
Wait, I thought... Today was this... Today is the third day. Fuck. You SOB! Did you hear me? I said corpse! A corpse? Yep. That's right. I found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden? What, what did you say? Well then. Before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on. We're going to the garden. Uh, okay. Don't make me walk there. Thank you. As soon as we enter the garden, we saw it. I didn't want to, but... Yeah, there it is. Uh-oh. I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife. Buried in their stomach up to the hilt. What the? Are they- are they really dead? For sure, but- Who is it? The pink nails. Who has pink nails? Deadly life. I feel like it was- it has to be one of the- Celeste? No. Uh... It wasn't Sayaka. I don't know why I'm going- maybe it's Murkrow? Junko? Junko was fashionable. Oh, that's so creepy. Last night, I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're- they don't have nails though. So maybe that's not the same person. I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. Maybe they just didn't- were too lazy to draw on the nails. I told you there's a corpse hanging out here! Okay, stop laughing. I told you, there's a corpse hanging out here. No way. Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? Are we gonna get the ding dong bing bong of the, the body announcement? But there's no Monokuma. So, isn't the recording of the Masterminds gonna play? What? You need to begin looking around right away. However, be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. I have to do it. Oh, let's look at the body first. We need to find out who this actually is. But there's no way to tell with a mask covering their face, so, but we're not going to take off the mask. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. This victim is a total mystery, unless we, you know, take off the mask. One thing I do know. Yeah, they appeared in your bedroom. Yeah, we understand. It has been told, like, four times in the past five minutes. How did they wind up dead in here? Their heart isn't beating. They're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that's there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and it gets them on you. Uh, um... How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Huh? How can you tell? Well... Well, I think I see the outline of her chest, and just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then it could be. <laughs> okay then. Yes! Let's just tear the mask clean off. Come on. Wait, don't. I mean, why not? But by the time he called out, it was already too late. Took his hand, shot out toward the mask, and in the next instant. Oh. Uh Oh, fuck. There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. It blew up, it blew up, it blew up! I guess that's why you check for traps first. My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out, but then... Come on. Hurry up, put out the fire. As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice pulled, reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water. Come on, dump the water on it, Why, right? If you handed me the bucket, why couldn't you just do it, you fucking pompous, good-for-nothing piece of- Shh. Uh, okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Sploosh. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. I guess that took care of it. Oh, what the hell, man? Is Toko or Genocide Chill okay? It exploded? 
What did you say? I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body. Unidentifiable? What? It's burned to a Chris. That's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to a steak. I'll never be able to eat steak again. But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we going to find out who it was? Hmm. Who isn't here right now? Huh? What? If we consider who's not here, then we'll quickly narrow down who it must be. Um... There's only one person missing. Uh, um... It's Kyoko. K Kyoko? How is that like a surprise? She's obviously not here. No. I feel like it's... It's definitely not Kyoko. No, that can't be right. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't say it was Kyoko. But... I mean, who else? Mercuro? <laughs> there is one other person. In other words... The mastermind. <laughs> or the headmaster? What? 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 The, the mastermind? What the heck? Come on, there's no way. The mastermind got charbroiled? Get serious. <laughs> I agree. Normally the idea would be worth considering, but I have reason to believe it may be true. The mastermind being dead would explain another matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? But... But that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. Who says the mastermind can't be a girl, you fucking sexist piece of fuck? I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. The headmaster and the mastermind are not necessarily the same person. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. What the heck? He said the mastermind is a middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. Then, could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student at Hope's Peak. What? What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. What? I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... <laughs> this again. Yeah. yeah. It sounded like Kyoko thinks Mukuro Ikusaba is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. <clears throat> I see. There's another student here, and it's female. That would match the body's characteristics, but then where's Kyoko? So, um... And that phrase, the ultimate despair. It sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Could it be? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, Mukuro? And she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair. But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot, how'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? What the heck? None of this makes any sense, to just sh suddenly show up and then die? Hmm. I think we'd better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Are we just gonna say nothing about Toko getting, like, blasted? Ah. Hey, wait! What? Aren't we forgetting something? You know, Toko? What? What? Oh yeah, she got totally blown up, huh? Hmm. Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. Oh dear. Uh. She survived! Oh, she survived. <laughs> I love the difference between that. Uh. What just happened, Master? Stop talking. You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. <laughs> oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. That's enough for me to live. What the heck? This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. Well, oh, right now I have to focus on the body. Well, I want to look at the mask. Take a closer look at the body one more time. So, um... Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. Don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko, after all. No, you are not, Makoto. Oh, 
Hold on, there's something on the ground here. I wanted to look at the tattoo, but okay. Oh gosh. There's something next to the body, it's... It's a key? Is this what Kyoko took from Monokuma? But what did you steal? So... So this. A key. Shaped like Monokuma on the key on Earth. That's right, the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. So this is the data center key? This isn't anything like that. Or the biolab key, ooh. Then this key is... What? What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've, nev I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? <laughs> so even you don't know then. Hmm. Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. Huh? I see. That key might give you cer access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... So in other words, the biolab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So I'm your errand boy now? You always were his errand boy, Makoto, because you can't stand up for yourself. I'm gonna assume I just want to get the sound of water and chirping out of my head. I am going to assume it's... Let's try the biolab first, because it's closest. But I think it's the data center. Biolab was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. Not even close. It feels data center -y. What's this? But maybe not. Oh, quick. It fits. Yeah. This is the key. The, well, you know, it looks tacky. Okay, calm down, Makoto. I managed to unlock the data center. I guess all that running around paid off. You went two places. I have to go tell everyone else. I immediately headed back to the garden. Don't make me walk. Thank you. You so you're back. How did it go? I found out which key the room the key goes to. It's the data center down on the fourth floor. And we can get in the data center now? I see. Interesting. But why do the now deceased have that key on them? Hmm. I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Hmm. Here we are. Looks like the door is still unlocked. Um... Hey, so when you open that door, there's not going to be another huge kaboom like before, right? Um... You're asking that question now? <laughs> Don't worry, we have Makoto. Rude. I am not a guinea pig. In other words... It's in your hands. Again? <laughs> it means I trust you. Fuck off, Takami. It means you're a coward. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. I just want to open the... I can't open the door from here? Open the door. I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. Silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. Whoa, yeah, here's where he watches all the feeds. In a word, the room was strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this one had a special kind of strangeness. So descriptive. Sorry. I just, he just, ugh. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was lurk lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. What? what? Hey, that's... Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. So all, like, the camera feeds. Oh god, in the rooms. I wonder if we can find Kyoko in here. Look what they're showing. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school was covered. This is... What? It's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. What did you guys expect to find in the data lab, you idiots? All the cameras in the school feed back into this room, and they're displayed here on these monitors. So that's it. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. I don't think that's the sole purpose. Like, there's a lot of other stuff in here, too. <gasps> to watch us? You know that you've been being- you've been being- I can't even talk. You've been watched this whole time. You have been aware of this fact. Why is it a surprise? 
And this room is... The Mastermind's private room, without a doubt. Mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. Is that a door with the Monokuma symbol on it? So the Mastermind was here. Watching us. Doi. <laughs> then I think that settles it. Huh? The body in the garden. If they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. <laughs> that was the body of Mukuro Ikusaba, and she was the Mastermind. Huh? And the Mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. <laughs> for serious? He needs to stop saying for serious. <laughs> it's too bad they had to go and die before a master could kill them himself. The mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Because I mean that body. Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. Those are some pretty cool boots though. Kyoko wears purple boots, but I don't think they're that tall and they don't have red laces like that. So who was it that... But... If the mastermind really is dead... No! That means we can finally get out of this hellhole! How about that? We gotta hurry and find the exit, come on! That's enough. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. <clears throat> huh? But what about the exit? Hmm. If the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we want to. But right now, <laughs> we need to find out why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. Because... I don't know, Japan really loves these killing games. Like, I don't know, I've been watching so many like shows and like anime that have this premise where people are like forced together into some sort of game or situation where they have to kill each other. I just got the weirdest sense of deja vu. Anyways. Hmm. And I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. What? What? He had a knife in his stomach. What the fuck do you expect, hero? I'm Yes, you're high school students, but like, you've been through this. So you think so too, huh? Naturally. Naturally. Hmm. The state of the corpse makes it plain as day. There is absolutely no doubt. <laughs> the mastermind was murdered. But... Why has it got to be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? Such ignorance. That's exactly why I need... I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. <laughs> Now do you understand, you useless insect? You're banned from talking to Master ever again. The Mastermind's purpose and why they were killed. This room may very well hold the answer to those questions. After all, the Mastermind must have spent who knows how much time here. Hmm. Okay then, let us begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the Mastermind. Oh, cool. What can I click on? Many things. This bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high-performance PCs. Nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego is installed on. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. Hmm. So what, we can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. That's not how computers work, darling. Hmm? What century are you from? <sighs> the mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network and Alter Ego. Hmm. You may well be right about that. What? There's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. There's really a ridiculous number of monitors here. Mastermind's been using them to spy on us. As long as I have this, huh? Like a master go. It's like a feast for the eyes. How much is monthly membership? That was it's completely pointless. I don't really want to talk to any of you, but why is there a camera in here? Is what I want to know. That doesn't seem to make sense to me. About this thing. There's nothing showing up on this one. Hmm. Hey, look, next to that TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? How about that? It is, it's just like the one my grandma uses. It's definitely one of those high-def antennas. Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we could watch TV? Huh? Did someone say TV? You know? Well, well, Saturday morning Hina's here. Hmm. Uh, are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, if you can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. You know? Yeah, you're all starved for info from the outside world, huh? Hmm. 
All right, let me work my magic and you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? Is he going to do it? So, you think you can fix the TV? You know? Just a little bit longer. What, you really want to watch TV that bad? <laughs> oh, let's just go through the door. This door's kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? No luck. Um... The door's locked, huh? What if you use the key that opened this room? Let's give it a try, just in case. Probably not, though. It probably needs... Um, he, uh, Kyoko's key. Hmm. Oh. Yeah! Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. Keen's still thinking about that door with Monokumi's picture on it. But worrying about it isn't gonna do me any good. Keen is right. The mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. You know? Huh? Oh. Oh. What's wrong? Hmm. Good news for all you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. Ah. Voice is dying. Really? Hmm. Now all we gotta do is switch it on. What? Then do it. Uh. Very good idiot, Mastermind. All you guys need to cut free from your regrets of the outside world. The they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it. Um, hey, that's the camera that's right up over our heads. Huh? This is... Hmm. It's the feet coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this room, isn't it? What the heck? That's weird. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Hmm. <laughs> You're weird. Weird in every way possible. And not just weird, super weird. But... But this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how is it showing the camera feed? Well... Did you try changing the channel? Uh, um... Oh, good idea. Let's give that a try. Here I went through each channel one by one. But on every channel, it was just... us. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? Someone else was watching this? Is it broken or something? Could it be? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Hmm. Hi, Monokuma. A trick? What kind of trick? Actually, I'm not sure, but huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Well... Huh? What? In a while, you friggin' bastards! M Monokuma? Huh? Oh, you're supposed to be dead. <laughs> Me? Dead? Don't be freaking stupid. What? Hey, you're acting kind of strange. Something seems different. Of course! Of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Is this like a different version of Monokuma? Uh -huh. Not even, it's been like half a day at most. Oh. How are you alive again? <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> the look on your faces right now is sublime. That's what I wanted to see. The moment you went from hope to despair. <laughs> Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. <laughs> I mean, that's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now. Ah ha ha ha. Well now. And that's that. Shing. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past so full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want you all to have way more fun in this killing game so it's not over. Can't be serious. We have to keep going. Let me out of here. <laughs> oh, you were supposed to get out of here. Get out of here. Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? Unbelievable. How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. And besides. Yep.
this life isn't all bad, you know? I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? I have expected him to make the pun like despair. Well now. I pooped from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. Point? Hey, um You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew he was hiding a secret of some kind. No, you didn't be up. Yeah, shut up. What the heck? But I connected the antenna, so why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look how attentive they are now. Well, then I'm gonna let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. Our TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Are they being broadcast? But what does that mean? It's displaying the signal, but it's just us standing here. Unbelievable. Ugh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. Thrills, chills, kills! This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. I had a feeling. What? Extreme! This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. It's being broadcast live on TV. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. What? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? That's... It can't... Uh, there's that dumb face. It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? Oh, no! The camera feed is being broadcast. No way, that's impossible. Phew. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that? All you need is one weird trick that I found, and hacking, hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Uh, are you being serious right now? Of course. I heard a kind of creaking. But the sound was coming from my own mind. Uh oh. That's not a good sound. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my mind had begun to creak and groan. Hey, um. Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries. Even me luring here, you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience, to show them true despair like they'd never seen it before. I became the director of a despair-based production. Th oh, that's what he said, yeah, yeah, when he was like, that's what they're all waiting for? What everyone is waiting for? This is the ultimate reality show. The best in despair entertainment. What are you saying? You're lying. If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. Uh, um... Yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. Actually... What if... They already did? Huh? Yes, indeed. But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Hmm. Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally though, so whatever. This can't be! But to take control of all communications like that, you'd need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep. So, how could things have come this far? Well, yeah! that's a secret. There's something you all need to do first, remember? What? Of course! Yeah, duh. Here's the little business of the dead body signal. A body has been discovered. Yeah. Oh, this is really cool. This is very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Class trial will begin. Huh? C class trial? Do you mean? <laughs> 
Well, he's just tickled, isn't he? It's the Monokuma file! I'll leave the next Monokuma file right here. Everyone give it all you've got, okay? Heart-pounding excitement! Okay. Things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. You're in for a heck of a ride. I can't wait! I can't wait! Oh, shit. And then, he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible. The truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. Seems a common theme. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. It took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. Uh -huh. I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment and... That would be a really bad name for like... Like a K-pop company. Because <laughs> they always end in like entertainment, you know? Anyways. How is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that finally... Finally we could get out of here. Yeah. And plus... What did he say about a class trial? Stop talking. Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What the heck? What are you talking about? I thought Mercury Ikusaba was the one who died. <laughs> the victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active... That means that the mastermind, Mukuro Ikusaba, isn't dead. So naturally, that body can't belong to her, so it must be Kyoko. There is no other possibility. The body is... Kyoko's? It? I don't know why, it's making me think of Junko, like the nails and then the boots and like the hair. It reminds me a little bit of when, um... I don't know, it reminds me a bit of Junko. When, you know, she got stabbed with all of the, um, the gum with Gangnir in the gym. Cause like her hair is kind of like that and then the nails and then like the boots. I actually don't remember what kind of boots she was wearing, but she was like the ultimate fashionista, right? No, it's not possible, but it can't be Junko, obviously. But that's who it reminds me of because, because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To have it end like this. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Quiet. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? <laughs> anyway, we'd better begin. But... but if we're gonna have a class trial, that means the killer. That's right. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? Hm. Well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? But you just said... Stop talking. I don't have time to explain now. There is a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> so I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. This is how the game works, after all. Oh my gosh. And we're into the investigation. The music change is kind of cool. But I'm going to leave this episode here then. Oh, fuck. This has got you. Wow, this is the far, far, like, the most to the point chapter, I think. This is pretty crazy. But then, who? Mukuro and... Well, we have no idea what Mukuro looks like, right? But yeah, I don't know why. It's just that body really... Reminds me of Junko. Hmm, I don't know. But if the thing is though, because they were like the masked person with the knife, and if Kyoko is the one who like saved us potentially during that like fever dream, does that mean Kyoko is the one that killed her? Because if it is, don't tell me we have to like convict Kyoko. That would suck, but I guess we'll find out, hopefully, more about what happened during the investigation, though I'm really not sure how much we're going to find out. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for notifications when I put out new videos. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!